what's up Grinders Cool Colossus here with a short video about one major con uh, concept in Hold'em. Um, one of the biggest mistakes I see in the, our Micro Stakes members is that they tend to see about way too many flops. And so today I want to show you why you are seabending too many flops and hopefully you can kick out this uh, bad habit just like this donkey does. Um, I don't want to say that you're a donkey, so I just want to show... well, never mind about the stupid picture. Okay, so let's give... oh, let's get a poker stove. I'm gonna use poker stove to get my point across and hopefully I will succeed. Poker stove is an, a free uh, software program. Uh, I'm not gonna... you probably all know it. So let's say that we are raising from middle position or early position and we get called on the button um, by a normal uh, player, a normal legger. I'm not gonna say somebody playing 65, a normal, a normal guy. Uh, so let's give him a, a calling range. He's gonna call with any pair except aces, kings. Uh, Queens is probably going to three bet us. Um, he's going to call with Ace Queen. Um, maybe some combinations of King Queen. Not all of them. So definitely Ace Queen suited. King Queen suited. Ace Jack suited. Uh, Queen Jack suited. King Jack suited. Yeah, it's probably calling. Uh, definitely this uh, suited connector type of hands. Even one gappers, two gappers. Uh, one gappers and uh, connect the type fans. I don't think they call too often with like 10, 7 suited. Probably once in a while. Um, maybe jack 8 suited will make the call. Um, queen 10 suited. We're talking about a normal guy. Um, I'm gonna give him some combinations of ace jack sometimes. They will call an early position raise with ace jack uh, off suit. I'm also gonna give him some combinations of. Uh, connected hands, but uh, not suited. Like uh, eight nine off suits and seven eight uh, off suits. I think this is um, probably queen nine suited. Day. I'll probably call it two. I think this is about a reasonable uh, calling range for people. Queen jack suited definitely. Maybe some uh, combinations too. This is about a reasonable calling range from a normal type of player versus a um, middle position or early position uh, race. So let's see. Um, and let's give us, um, well, no, actually, let's just. We are raising with a random hand. We are player number two, raising with a ran random uh, hand. And obviously, we're never raising with a random hand, but. Uh, I don't think it will uh, make a lot of difference. We'll see. I hope or otherwise. Well, I'm just typing in a flop which is uh, pretty wet. Jack of diamonds, eight of diamonds, seven of clubs. And we're gonna uh, see how we do with equity wise. Um, so we have 54% uh, of equity on this flop uh, versus the early position race, which is uh, not a lot. Of course, obviously, we have uh, a random hand. So let's say we have uh, ooh, pocket deuces, a hand which has no showdown value on this type of flop, jack of diamonds, eight of diamonds, seven of clubs. But uh, we want to take down the pot anyway, so we are going to see that. Well, that's at least how micro stakes players are thinking. Let's check our equity, uh, which is uh, oh, which is pretty, uh, which is we have forty percent of equity against. Uh, this uh, against uh, the range of uh, the player calling. Now you might say, okay, we have 40% of equity, which is pretty bad. Let's change the board's texture because this is a pretty wet board. And you guys might think, okay, I'm not gonna see that this flop because it's pretty wet. But let's make Port, uh, pretty dry, uh, king of diamonds, let's say the eight of club stays and we have the three of spades. Uh, um, uh, let's say we have again our pocket deuces and as you can see our equity doesn't change really a lot. We had four, now we have 38, although the flop texture changed quite a bit. So why, 
we'll say well what, let's see what it does against a random hand uh, here on this full time flop texture and it's about the same as previously on the jack of diamonds, 8 of diamonds, 7 of club boards we also with a random hand have 54% uh, of equity just the same as about uh, on this flop so why are we see betting the this flop and not the let's type it in again the eight, jack of diamonds, 8 of diamonds 7 of club uh, flop which is going to give us the exact same amount of equity well the answer is pretty easily but I'm gonna show it you anyway because it appears to me that some members do not want to un do not grasp it completely so let's say the flop is jack of diamonds, eight of diamonds, seven of clubs and let's go back to uh, the calling range I hope this still fits yeah in my recording window so let's say we continuation bet on this flop so which hands are going to fold pocket deuces is going to fold, pocket threes is going to fold, four, five, six, sevens obviously not, eights not, pocket nine is probably not going to fold with a cut shot and uh, a pair, uh, eight, nine cut shot pair, um, here, at least with all this type of crap he has at least uh, maybe some flush draws or a cut shot with a pair, so he's not falling this entire range, he's probably falling a Queen, some of the time, let's say, okay, King Queen uh, is falling. Um, is Queen suited? Not if he has uh, like the diamonds, yes, uh, or two clubs, so because he has two overcards and a backdoor, uh, backdoor straights and backdoor flushes, is Jack, so Queen Jack not falling. I mean, Try to look for hands which is going to fold. I don't know. I'm trying. Maybe pocket tens. No, it's not falling with the gut shot. Eight, nine will. Seven, eight, no, eight, nine. Again, I mean, I'm trying to look for hands that are going to fold or see that. But essentially, we only eliminated like the really small pocket pairs. And that's pretty much. That's pretty much it. I'm quite surprised myself, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't see him folding a lot of uh, hands. And if we have like pocket deuces on this flop and he calls, essentially we cannot double barrel uh, this uh, this board. Uh, I mean, every turn card is a bad card for us. Uh, so okay, let's uh, give him back his. Uh, Free flop range. Let's give him back all his pocket pairs. This is queen. Um, let's give him back his range and let's just change uh, the board texture. Okay. Let's change the board texture to our king of diamonds, eight of clubs, and three of spades. And oh, I'm sorry. And see. What range he can continue here with? Uh, of course, again. Uh, oh no, pocket threes is going to continue. Pocket deuces folds, four folds, five, sixes, sevens probably folds. Uh, six, seven suited falling. Seven, eight might continue off suits. Pocket eights is obviously continuing. Eight, nine might continue. Nines, mm, seven, nine is going to fold. Uh, 8, 10 might continue for a bet. Pocket dance is going to have a hard time. Uh, Ace Queen uh, is definitely falling. Uh, King High board for Ace Queen is like the worst board ever. So Ace Queens are definitely falling. Ace Jacks, King Jacks, uh, Ace Jack falling. Queen Jack falling. Jack 10 suited doesn't gonna fold Jack 10 suited. I mean, he has nothing as like a backdoor gut shot. Queen 10 falling, uh, Queen 9 falling, uh, pocket 10s, Jacks. I'm, is, I'm not gonna say they're gonna fold for one bet like pocket 9s. Um, I think um, Queen Jack is falling. Uh, I'm going over the different type of hands he's going to. Anyway, but middle pair type of hands is uh, going to uh, continue on this flop. I, 
at least some of the players, not all players, like normal players on this type of flop, when they have 7, 8, well, I can see them calling one that, uh, and hope to hit a, sp a spike, actually a 7 or an 8. So, as you can see, his calling range on the flop already diminished compared on this flop compared to the other flop. So we're gonna have we're gonna get a lot of more folds when we see that our pocket deuces into this flop compared to the other flop. And added advantage is like let's fill in an insignificant like a tree of uh, okay. So let's say uh, a tree of diamonds comes off um, on the on the turn, um, and let's go back to player one. I mean, if we oh damn it, I lost my range. Well, I'm just uh, I'm just pointing out that if we would have double barreled, uh, he's practically continuing only with like. 2% of his entire calling range pre-flop, so although our random hand has the same equity on a king 8 3 type of flop as it has on a jack 8 7 type of flop, it is the flop texture which determines whether uh, we are going to see that or not and not our equity against uh, his range. So I hope that now once and for all you guys uh, see and do this exercise yourself uh, with uh, Pokestop. It's a great program. See what type of flops um, people can continue with uh, with a given range and uh, just play with it and you will see. You will find out for yourself which flops are good to see that and which flops are not. So I hope um, you got something out of this uh, really short but important concept and I'll see you guys in the forums.